Hello, in this video we'll present a brief example of the Omniot Soft Hub being used as a dedicated hub device for a Nordic Thingy 52 sensor. The Soft Hub allows you to build typical IoT edge logic into your hub device without doing any actual programming. Instead, you configure your application logic using an object based rule engine. We're not going to go into a lot of functional details in this video, as you can find lots of in depth information and examples on our website, Omniot.com, and on our YouTube channel, Omniot Videos. See the YouTube video description for this video for links as well as to download a zip file containing all of the configuration files used in our example. The SoftHub comes with pre-support for the Thingy52 built-in. When you open the SoftHub configuration utility and select the Thingy52, you'll see all of the Thingy52's BLE characteristics that have either read, write, and or notify attributes. For our example video, we're enabling the temperature, humidity, and orientation sensors by multi-selecting them. Note that our example is quite random and meant to just give you a quick idea of some of the functionality available. So bear in mind we're only touching on a small fraction of what can be configured. It took about 30 minutes to create and deploy our example rule set, which does the following. The core SoftHub application runs as a Linux daemon. So on startup, our configuration will connect the Raspberry Pi acting as our hub device to the Thingy52. Once connected, we'll enable notifications for the BLE characteristics we've selected. As packets arrive, we'll publish them to a cloud-based ThingsBoard dashboard via MQTT. Additionally, we'll use the orientation of the Thingy52 to control both a lamp we've attached to the SoftHub device via a GPIO, as well as the publishing of the packets. When the Thingy is oriented upright, the light will be on and notifications will be enabled for all three sensors. When the thing is not oriented upright, the lamp will be off and only the orientation sensor will have notifications enabled. So let's get started. We've already copied our configuration file to our SoftHub device, so all we need to do is start the SoftHub daemon via an SSH session. Since we have the Thingy52 initially oriented in the upright position, We'll know when the soft hub has connected to the sensor by when the lamp comes on. Now that the lamp is on, we can see that packets are also arriving at our things board dashboard. We'll change the orientation, and as you can see, when not oriented upright, our temperature and humidity packets are no longer being reported, and the lamp is turned off via GPIO control. We'll go through a few various orientations so you can see the configuration file is being executed real-time as we described. When the sensor is oriented upright, the lamp is on and all sensors are enabled for notifications. In any other orientation, the lamp is off and only notifications for the orientation sensor are enabled. Again, this example really only touches on a fraction of the possibilities available when combining the soft hub with the Thingy52. Most importantly, configuring and deploying our scenario only took about 30 minutes from start to finish. Check out our website for lots of additional videos as well as a brief video series taking you through the process of setting up a Raspberry Pi to act as your SoftHub gateway. Links are in the YouTube video description. Thanks for watching.